So it's a lot of hard work. So uh, the great thing about a Kickstarter is you manage to do the, the orders up front, but actually delivering the orders, um, that is a huge task. So uh, it took uh, over a year to get the first light guns to the backers. Um, and we had a prototype, you know, demoed it in the first video that was, was working perfectly and the shell was great, but actually moving that to the injection molding um, and getting the, the, the final hardware, that, that took a lot. And so uh, even though I was hoping to get it out there in six months, it took over a year. Um, and then in that time, it was just trying to build up capacity and get all the orders out there and uh, getting the software ready as well, you know, making it more user friendly, things like that. So been very busy a couple of years. It got really good feedback. Um, I was really happy because it was a labor of love for a long time. And uh, my main worry was, you know, are people going to come back with scenarios that I hadn't covered and say it doesn't work on this TV, this display or with this thing, um, you know, but everyone was able to get it working. Um, anyone that was having difficulties, it's usually around the emulation, because you know, emulation can be very difficult and uh, it is improving all the time. Um, it's a lot easier when the emulation is really easy to use to then just troubleshoot the light gun. You know, I've not quite set that up in the config, but you know, if the emulator won't load and things like that, that's very difficult. Um, and the feedback was really good. We had um, a very low failure rate, which was again trying to turn this into a business if we were sending them out and they were failing. So that was reassuring. Um, and uh, so overall, was really happy um, with, with the release. I mean, firstly, there was a lot of feedback with the software. So I designed it for my scenario. I liked playing the light gun games. I liked, um, I'd have it in Windows. I would just load the software in the background and then pick what emulator I wanted to play and load it up. But a lot of people, they use them in arcade cabinets. And with that, you know, you don't want to load up light gun software. You don't want to, you know, manually choose what you do. So it's trying to change the software to automatically load and things like that that worked for them um, you know and different people that were feeding back and I got a lot of feedback from people uh, they wanted a pedal they wanted a, a time crisis style pedal so um, you know that's one of the latest things that I've worked on is this um, solid arcade um, metal pedal and it is designed using a, an original time crisis pedal to be as resilient and tough and uh, it's funny because time crisis is just one set of games but they're so popular and well loved by people that they were asking for a proper authentic pedal so uh, that's what's great about the stuff that we do is that that feel and the touch you know trying to get it exactly the same as they remember so that's why I've, you know got a foot pedal to go along with the light gun uh, one of the priorities was with the to get it authentic uh, like the arcade one is that clunk feeling you know not a plasticky um, sort of thud but actually a proper clunk so when you push it you know reload so that was one of the, uh, the remits for it. Uh, normally we sell black, red and blue light guns. Um, as you mentioned in your previous videos, uh, the light gun is partly inspired by the gun con and it is, you know, my favourite light gun. So I um, actually got a sort of a grey special edition, uh, which is what I brought in today. And it is hopefully something we'll be releasing in the future. Um, goes especially good with the, the pedal, um, you know, for the Time Crisis fans. The dream, as always, is uh, to get a version working for the console. So, um, you know, Phil Spencer, if you're watching, give me a call. Uh, could do a great version for the Xbox. Um, you know, but seriously, that's the, the idea is to get the, the technology more widespread, more exposure, uh, and hopefully get one of these big players interested in and, you know, properly bring back all the light gun games. Um, in the meantime, there are quite a few light gun games being released on PC. Um, and we're usually getting light gun support with those. So that's very encouraging. Things like House of the Dead remake um, and things like that, where it, it's quite amazing, you know, light gun games actually coming out. And even though they haven't necessarily designed them with a the light gun, because they do work with a light gun, then you get the authentic experience. So that's really exciting. Uh, a big thank you to uh, everyone, uh, all the cave dwellers that uh, back the project. A big thank you to uh, Neil for doing the video as well. It made a, a huge difference to the success of the project. So uh, thank you everyone. Mm -hmm.